Senator, you, you've described this, or No Labels has described this as an insurance policy for America if the two major party candidates are unacceptable. I know others at No Labels have said that, that they do not want former President Donald Trump to be uh, president again. Do you consider Donald Trump an unacceptable nominee? Uh, personally, I do. <clears throat> and uh, uh, I think that's a, a feeling held very widely among uh, No Labels uh, members and leaders. Uh, remember, No Labels was uh, begun about a dozen years ago to try to cut down on the partisanship and gridlock in Washington to uh, get the government uh, working again uh, for the American people to convince, to elect people to Congress uh, who would put the country first and not their party loyalty or ideological loyalty first. And uh, we've had a really good track record of doing that with a, a 60 member House Problem Solvers Bipartisan Caucus, 10 members in the Common Sense Coalition and the Senate, and they've made a lot of good things happen over the last four or five years. Uh, so we're exploring now at the request of our members whether there's a similarly constructive role for us to play uh, in the in the presidential election. And uh, Pat McCrory is absolutely right. This is that I know, as you said, Michael, that uh, third parties don't have much of a success record in America. You actually have to go back to 1860 and Abraham Lincoln for the last time a third party, then the Republican Party won. And that was the end of the uh, previous second party, the Whig Party. But we've never seen so much anger at the federal government. Uh, and now dissatisfaction, as Pat said, with these two candidates. And part of it is not just, uh, 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 oh, my God, not Trump and Biden again. I think it's because Trump and Biden already mean to people another partisan attack, counterattack campaign, and then probably... Uh, four more years of the same kind of partisan mudslinging, and America's had enough of it. And that, that's why we're developing this insurance policy to see whether uh, uh, we, uh, well, first to get on the ballot in 50 states with a third line, which is not easy, but we're making real progress on it. And second is to use it if we think uh, it can have a really constructive uh, role to play with a bipartisan unity ticket pretty amazing to even think about it in this partisan time but i, I think people want that kind of option uh next year